All right, for number nine, we have that a garden includes a small lawn. The lawn is enclosed by an arc AB of a circle with center O and radius six meters, such that angle AOB is 135 uh, degrees. The straight border of the lawn is defined by chord AB. That's this guy here. Okay. So the lawn is shown as a shaded region in the following diagram. All right. So a footpath for part A, ¿cierto? is laid around the curved side of the lawn. So that makes reference to this guy here. So that right there is where we have the footpath. And we need to find the length of that guy exactly. Now at this point, a lot of people start thinking, OK, I've got a triangle here. They're trying to remember stuff about circles. And they have a little bit of a rough time. See? A uh, good strategy here, as you've seen in some of my other videos, is identify the buzzwords. See, and so the buzzword right now, the biggest one is length. Find the length of the footpath. The footpath is part of what? It's part of a circle. Ah, okay. So if you get familiar with your formula booklet, this should be ringing a bell by now. If I go ahead and put length, there's a couple lengths that show up. ¿cierto? And one of them is length of an arc. See, so if we're talking about circles, we're talking about arcs, we're talking about sectors and stuff like that. And this formula right here is going to give you the length of the foot fat. See? And so the two big steps that we did was one, identify the buzzword, and two, be familiar with your formula booklet. See? No one memorizes all of this stuff, but it's very important to know what's in it. See? So length of an arc is. Um, I'm just going to put it aside here, but you know that I'm getting it from the formula booklet. It is ba -ba -ba, L equals theta divided by 360 times 2 pi r. See? All right, so the stuff that we have to figure out is theta and r. See? So theta makes reference to what part of the arc we're looking at. Since we're looking at this part of the arc, the respective angle is right there, 135. See? So that is how we get the 135. And the R, they told us way, way earlier that da, 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 we have a radius of 6. See? So that is how we get radius. Remember that pi is an actual number. It is in your calculator. So yeah, that's what we have to do. We plug this in to our calculator, and we get a value of, trust me on this one, 14.1371, which is pretty much 14.1 meters. See? So that is literally part A. Got it? So this distance in red is equal to 14.1 meters. See? Now we need to find the area of the lawn. See? And so we don't have a formula that is for the area of just this. See? What we do have a formula for is the area of this whole guy here. ¿Vale? And so we've employed that formula and then subtract this guy here. We end up with the area of the lawn, which is the shaded part. See? So that is the strategy that we're going to employ. We return to our formula booklet. Da -da -da -da, and we have area of a sector. See? And so arc and sector in this case are kind of similar. Um, your sector, if I'm not mistaken. So your sector is going to be this cohog guy here. Okay? Your arc is what we put in red earlier. So for part B, area of a sector, I'm going to use this formula here. I'm going to put it on the side, but you know that I'm getting it from the formula booklet. It is theta divided by 360 times pi r squared. See, And so if I plug everything in, much like earlier, we know that theta is 135. Pi stays as pi, and r we said was 6. See? So this right now is what I put in blue earlier. See, it's all of this. It's all of this. What we want to do now, whoops. What we want to do now is get the area of this triangle here and subtract it. See? So we're going to be subtracting by whatever that is. And so we're looking at this triangle there. See? Now, what do we know about that triangle there? We know the following. We know that we have the point A, O, B. We know that this is 6, this is 6, and this is 135. See? So now we are in the, in the land of trigonometry and stuff like that. See? And so there's a couple ways to try to get the uh, 
the other sides, the missing angles, etc. But again, if you're familiar with the formula booklet, you can go to area of a triangle. And there's two of them. See, we have the one where it's the classic base times height divided by two, and the other one, which is the trigonometry version. See, where we have one half AB sine C. See, so area is going to be one half a little a little b times sine c. Why do I say big and little? Well, because the little letters are going to be sides. See, so these two guys are sides. And this guy is the angle. See? Now, because the angle C, because because we have big C and not little c, see, because we have big C and not little c, that means that the angle I have or that I need, cierto? I need the sides that are right next to it. See? Because if this is big C, little c is right there. See? Anyways, um that being said, I can employ this formula and end up with one half, six times six, so that's a and b. I'm just going to call this a, I'm going to call this b, whatever, times sine c, which we said was 135. Is that it? So that is actually going to go over here. All right, just so that we don't get lost, I'm going to take a second and leave very clear that if I call this guy my first area, it makes reference to literally everything. See? If I call this my second guy, that's going to be just this part here. So just this triangle here is going to be my second guy. I subtract both. I end up with my third one, the area of the lawn, the guy that's shaded. I put all of this into my calculator. Trust me on this one. And you end up with just about 29.6835, which is pretty much the same as 29.7. See? Meters squared. Don't forget your units. It is part of the mark scheme. Why don't you know that it's squared? Because squared is going to be for area. To the power of 1 is going to be for distance. And if it is cubed, it's going to be for volume. See? This case we're talking about area, it is squared. That is number nine. Get familiar with your formula booklet.